Hello, my name is Dr. Constance Okeke, and I'd like to share some do's and don'ts of eye stent surgery. This video will focus on positioning and initial view. Here I'm sitting on the temporal side where the corneal incision will be made. The patient's head is facing towards the ceiling at this moment. Rotate the head of the patient away from the surgeon, and don't be shy about this rotation because it needs to be significant. Angle the microscope about 45 degrees towards the surgeon. This is needed in order to get an adequate gonioscopic view. Here I am using OVD, a viscoelastic, on the surface of the cornea. This is very helpful in providing coupling with a gonia prism. It allows not only for protection of the cornea, but also allows a light touch to avoid any corneal striae. And here is the microscopic view showing a copious amount of viscoelastic on the corneal surface. If you find that your gonioscopic view is inadequate, it may be due to poor head rotation feel free to rotate the head more in order to get the proper view. Following these steps, you should be able to gain an excellent view of the angle. At this point, it's okay to open up the eye stent. I strongly suggest considering placing the eye stent first before cataract surgery. I have found great success with this technique. Look out for the next do's and don'ts of eye stent surgery on the Eye Glaucoma channel on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel and you'll be kept up to date with other helpful videos on how to master minimally invasive glaucoma surgery. Thanks for watching.